Welcome, in this video I will show you how to install SteamOS on your Asus ROG Xbox Lite X device. To perform this operation we're gonna need a USB uh, flash drive that supports uh, USB Type-C connection type, for example uh, the adapter like this that supports micro SD cards and uh, can be plugged in both uh, both into the USB Type-C and USB Type-A uh, ports uh, uh, and also the device uh, like a micro SD card or your USB fla uh, flash drive uh, has to store at least uh, 8 gigabytes of uh, memory so uh, make sure that your uh, device uh, uh, can store at least this much and also what we're gonna need is a keyboard since for, for further setup of the steam os uh, for this i also recommend getting a dock like this one so you can insert uh, more than just one peripheral to your device uh, it also connects to USB Type-C port uh, and I'm gonna be using uh, this wireless keyboard uh, which comes along with the mouse. It's a pretty cheap one, but it's gonna work out. So, uh, first of all, oh, and the last thing, we're gonna need a, uh, a PC uh, with internet access. So, for example, you can use uh, this device, but I recommend using a separate device, a separate PC with internet connection. Uh, and I'm gonna also use one. Uh, so, the first thing that we want to do is insert, uh, insert uh, this USB flash drive into the PC we're gonna be using to create a bootable, uh, bootable uh, USB flash drive. Also, make sure that uh, uh, you don't have any personal data stored on your USB flash drive. If you do, back uh, them up somewhere else. And um, also, I want you to know that, of course, uh, your uh, current operational system, your Windows 11, pro most probably, will be completely erased from your device. Uh, so, yeah, be prepared for that. Now, let me switch to the PC I'm going to be using for creating a portable USB device. So first thing we're gonna need to download is the Belena uh, HR program, which is the Rafus alternative. If you if you are familiar with Rafus, let's uh, download the Belena HR. So uh, you can uh, download it from the official Belena HR .io website. Just click download HR right here. Find uh, the version for Windows, uh, both X86 and X64, and click Download next to this option and save the setup file. Uh, and uh, the next thing we're gonna need is the ISO image of the SteamOS. So let's just open another tab and let's uh, search for SteamOS uh, ISO. Now, uh, SteamOS be Beta. Uh, Okay, excuse me, uh, it was actually SteamOS images, so just Google SteamOS images. Of course, I'm gonna uh, share the link in the description, so don't worry if you don't find it yourself. What we're looking for is the steamOS.cloud website uh, that has this kind of uh, file explorer in it. And what we need to do is scroll all the way down, to, all the way to the bottom to 2025 10.27.1.000. Uh, uh, folder and from this folder we want to download this uh, zip file so just click on it then click save to save it in in your uh, default downloads folder uh, as you can see I already have this uh, zip folder right here so I'm not gonna save it uh, the second time but right now uh, what we're gonna need to do is uh, run our Belena at your uh, setup file And now I select flash from file in the uh, in the first uh, in the first in the first step. Uh, now let's go to our downloads folder and let's select this uh, zip file. Click open, then select target. And the target is our USB flash drive. Just hit the checkbox next to it. Click select one, and then click flash. And then wait until the device is flashed. Of course, uh, everything will be erased from the device, so be aware of it. 
And let's wait for, it says, four minutes. Okay, but I thought that maybe we will not uh, waste any time in the meanwhile, as we also have to prepare our Asus ROG uh, device. So power your device off completely. Uh, then we're gonna have to enter BIOS menu by short pressing the power button and then start either holding down or pressing the minus uh, button until you see the bias menu on the screen. The minus, I mean, I mean the volume down button, of course. Now, uh, yeah, of course. And uh, right now, we are in the bias menu. Uh, you can easily navigate here using your touchpad, but you can also use D-pad for navigating and uh, A for selecting and Y to enter the advanced mode. And actually, this is the first thing that we we'll want to do. Now press Y button to go to the advanced mode. Then let's navigate to the security section in it. Uh, use D-pad to scroll down to secure boot and press A to confirm. Now here, navigate down to secure boot control and switch enabled to disabled. Uh, uh, this is uh, strictly for strictly for, for installing the SteamOS, uh, which is uh, which doesn't isn't a uh, like, uh, I mean, even on, on the previous Asus ROG LIX, uh, it, this is the, the official instruction from the Steam page. You know, it's, uh, disabling the secure, secure boot is a uh, completely normal thing. And now uh, let's return to the easy mode by pressing Y button once again, select save and exit, then tap OK. And after that, you're gonna need to, uh, you're gonna need to turn your device back off but right now let's uh, return back to our computer, to our other computer and wait until the device is com fully flashed. Okay, and once the flash is completed, uh, we can close this program and then safely eject our USB flash drive from the computer. Okay, and then uh, switch to your uh, switch switch to your Asus device. So now what we're gonna need to do is insert uh, the USB flash drive into our device. I highly recommend using this one, uh, this uh, Thunderbolt port, as it's uh, it's it, it's uh, will will uh, transmit all the files way faster than the right one. The right one is better used for charging in the meantime and now we're gonna have to uh, enter the bias menu once again so power your device on start pressing the minus button until the bias menu appears on your screen and once we are back in the uh, bios mode let's open the boot menu and now uh, scroll down to the first partition of your uh, USB flash drive, if you have two partitions, if you have just one, then that's okay. Uh, and then press uh, A to confirm. And now let's wait for a moment. Okay, and right now what we have to do is... Well, first, zoom in a little bit, uh, select wipe device and install SteamOS, then tap proceed button. Uh, okay, and now let's wait for, for, for another moment. So the entire process will take a couple of minutes and after it's finished, uh, just tap proceed to reboot your device into the steam os and at this point uh, once you boot into the steam os you can safely remove the usb flash drive from your device and now let's select the language from the language list uh, you can use navigations uh, navigation like just like in the uh, regular ASUS ROG, select English, then select your time zone. Uh, 
uh, then connect to a Wi-Fi. So let's select your network and provide a password to it. Tap enter and wait until you are connected to a network. Tap continue. Then we're gonna have to wait for the, all the software to be installed. Okay, now let's go through the same process once again. So select your uh, language, time zone. Well, let's reconnect. Uh huh, okay. Uh, let's connect to, to a different network then. Okay, and so at this point you'll be able to access your uh, SteamOS already. But now let's also download the TDP, uh, TDP plugin to, so that we can change uh, our device's uh, power consumption mode. Uh, and at this point I already, you already have to connect your uh, keyboard, physical keyboard to, to your device. Uh, and then uh, navigate to the desktop mode by pressing the Xbox button, selecting power, switch to desktop. And now in here, you're gonna have to open the web browser, which by default is Firefox. And in the Firefox browser, I wish I could see it better. So I'm gonna help you out. Uh, so what we're gonna need to do is download the uh, Deki loader. So let's go to the, the Mozilla, uh, install it by clicking right here. Once it's installed, let's launch the program. Oh, oh no, I accidentally, okay. So yeah, launch the program. Okay, so in this web browser, we're gonna need to download the Deki Loader. Search for Deki Loader, then uh, go to the official website, which is Deki XYZ. Let's open it. And let's click download right here. Then open the file open the Kate uh, application. A mistake, I'm sorry. Uh, so you have to go to the uh, Dolphin file manager on your device and open it. Then go to download, downloads folder and then uh, run the deck installer file. Now select launch. Now let's continue. Click yes. And now, uh, since we're using the pre-release version, let's click pre-release. Oh, since we're using the beta version and click OK. Then wait until Deki is downloaded. OK, now everything can be closed. And now what we're going to need to download next is the uh, Deki to the P uh, from from the uh, f uh, from the GitHub this time. Uh, so yeah, find this uh, Aaron Lee simple Deki to the TDP and uh, uh, let's uh, swipe down. Two releases. Okay, here here they are. So uh, s select the zero point. Uh, 0 0.97 release, which is the latest one. And let's right now uh, uh, download the simple decky tdp.zip file. And once the zip file is downloaded, uh, let's uh, minimize the browser and let's uh, tap return to game mode. Wait until the game mode appears on your screen, and now let's press the... Oh, actually, let me... So, once you are in the game mode, uh, 
press the Xbox button and the and the A button at the same time. And now here, uh, navigate uh, navigate to deck key, which is at the very bottom of the list. Tap X, uh, then uh, tap X to enter settings. Uh, so we need to select the gear icon, uh, the gear icon right here. Uh, and uh, now let's uh, go to general, uh, scroll all the way down, and we're gonna need to enable the developer mode. Uh, now, let's go back. Now let's go back and go down to developer mode and let's uh, select install plugin from zip file, click X, then let's select downloads folder and here we have our simple uh, deck TDP, select install and now using this plugin we can uh, we can uh, change our TDP and GPU mode and uh, control our CPU energy performance preferences, max TDP levels, minimum TDP levels. We can set minimum TDP to as low as four watts, which is uh, not available on the on the on the Microsoft uh, in the Microsoft. Uh, from what I remember, the minimum was the seven watts, and here we can set the maximum TDP level, which is the same as in Microsoft in the windows uh, so basically at this point the only thing that you have to do is connect to network sign into your uh, steam account and you can start freely using your uh, brand new steam os on your uh, asus or og device so uh, thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it please consider subscribing to our channel leave us a like and a comment below and i'll see you in the next one